Hello and welcome everyone to PM Studio Small Basic Tutorial Number Five. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a simple calculator, and I'm going to show you how to publish your publish your code on the web, and especially mine, so that you guys can view all of my code. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to type in begin semicolon. That's going to start our loop, which you'll understand how that comes into effect later on. So text window dot um, right line. We're going to put this in here and tell them uh, welcome to the calculator. So welcome to S B C A L C U C A L C U L A T O R. Welcome to S B calculator. All right. <coughs> Text window dot right line. Um, <coughs> please enter your first number here. quotes all right there we go and then text window dot right and open parentheses open and close quotations close parentheses and then num1 equals text window dot read number all right open and close parentheses that's going to read the number that's put in here in the write function and it's going to change it into a variable or an integer in this case or a double whichever one um, then we're going to do text window dot pause which is going to bring up the command prompt to have the user press any button to continue and then text window dot clear which is going to clear the screen oh another thing right after the begin statement we'll do text window dot clear and you'll understand why later alright so um, here let's no it's easier just to do it this way text window dot right line and we're going to open parentheses quotes please enter your second number here Okay, and then another right. And declare the number. So num2 equals text window dot read number. And another clear and pause. and then dot right line and we're going to have them enter in what what function they want to do so please enter the operation you want to perform and then inside the parentheses inside the quotes you're going to put um plus minus um multiply and divide close the parentheses, close the quotes, close the parentheses again sorry I'm writing so sloppy I'm kinda of doing this quickly it's a very long tutorial and I only have ten minutes um, so we're gonna put in another text window dot write and then we're going to do if and bear in mind we're going to copy all of this oh no wait my bad before we do the if statement we need to declare the operation so um, variable o equals um, text window dot read and let me scroll this down so that you can guy you guys can see it all right so text window dot read now we're going to do the if statement if o equals in quotes plus close the quotes and close the parentheses then we're going to do num3 equals num1 plus num2 and then we're going to do text window dot right line and inside that right line we're going to do num3 close that and then we can put in well first off we can highlight all this right here and we can just do copy and then put a else if O equals 
minus, then paste that, and then we can just change around the sign, so that'll be a minus and number three, okay? And now we can just do this, and copy all this. Oops. Whoopsies. All right, there we go. So we can change this to multiply, and change this to multiply. Okay, and then paste it again, and change it to divide. Oopsies. All right, there we go. And then we can do our end if, end if, and continue on, and um. After that, we want to do another text window. Let me scroll down some more. Dot right line. Actually, no. What I wanted to do is another pause and clear. And the reason why I'm doing so many pauses and clears, the pause and clears is um, I I like to do it so that the command prompt doesn't get all cluttered you can decipher every single little line of code and you don't get confused by what was new um, so after that we're going to do text window scroll down some more here if you guys need to read all of that um, then just pause it and go back dot right right line would you like to perform another operation and then in parentheses, Y or N for yes or no. Close the quotes, close the parentheses. Write. Okay, and then do again. Equals text window. Text window dot read. And then if do again equals capital Y or do again equals lowercase y then um, go to and this is where that beginning of the loop is in the begin we're gonna go to begin and then we're going to end our if Okay, so run the program, make sure it runs fine. So welcome to the SP calculator. We're going to do 12. Oops. All right, so 12 and 2 uh, added together should be 14. Yes, it's 14. Would you like to perform another operation? Yes. Now, if we didn't have that clear at the very beginning, it would have had the last line of uh, wording from the, the other loop along with these f first two lines. So that's why we have all those clears and pauses so the computer stays nice and neat. Um, so we close that. Now, in order for you guys to see this code, if you really want to um, plug it in and understand, look at it and everything, you just push publish, and it'll give you a code and a link to that code. So you can just click on that link, and it'll send you to the Quick Basic website, and there we go. Voila. There's all the code for that um, simple calculator. Um, so I'm going to copy this link and put it in the, the, um, in the, the sidebar. Um, so if you guys have any questions about the code, you can always just go here, and um, or you can go into here and you can, uh, let me close that out, and go here and copy this code right here, um, close that, no, and you can import and punch that in, push OK, and there's the program right there. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, tutorial, thank you, and comment.